Well, I thought I'd give you a, a little bit of a progress report <coughs> where we're at today, what we've done so far, and uh, what we still have left to do. Lots. But uh, what I've been working on the past couple days is finishing up all the trailer wiring, which is now complete uh, all the way from the tongue, and uh, all the lighting is now installed, and uh, I think it operates too. So let me, uh, let me show you what I've done so far and what it looks like and then later on we'll click on the lights and uh, see how they turn out. But anyway, uh, and once after that then I'll show you what our next step is with some AC electrical. So stay tuned. So we started here by installing the uh, waterproof box and uh, a terminal in there which run all the four wires for our trailer lighting and uh, now I have the uh, pigtail installed, so we've got that running in from behind, going into the box with our ground, and the uh, wiring goes all the way back, goes through the tongue of the trailer, and comes out right here. So uh, from my truck to the uh, tongue, I'll have a pigtail um, that I'll use to connect with. That's the way uh, I usually do on my trailers, so this is not hanging down two or three feet and I don't have to wrap it around and end up ripping it out. So it uh, stays nice and uh, st st nice and protected. So today we installed uh, a couple of the amber lights on the front and uh, of course we have all the, the lights on the side and we installed the lights on the back. So we have red on the back and amber on the front and along with the uh, tail lights and it lights up like a Christmas tree. Pretty cool. Let's jump inside real fast. So what I've done is, uh, of course, I've installed some shelving above the windows with a nice little decorative railing on here. And running in behind that are the wiring that goes from the, uh, goes from the back to the uh, front of the trailer. It goes through all the cabinets and uh, and this is the way I've got my my trailer lighting lit up and I have terminal block left over that when I run my 12 volt for lighting I can also utilize the blocks that I have here to run power through for my DC lights. So. And that's uh, that's what we've got so far, and it's coming along. Cool. And I'm thinking uh, because uh, I built the cabinets, I used uh, some white white pine, and uh, it turned out really nice. I used a pecan spray um, polyurethane which uh, gave it that nice little golden brown appearance, which I kind of like. Matches the uh, mahogany mahogany railing for the bedding. And uh, I thought I might do that to the cabinets themselves. We'll see well, how, how motivated I am to get, get something like that done. Um, so my next step is in this area here is Somewhere in this area, I'm going to drill a hole, and that's going to be for my uh, 15 amp uh, shore power. I'll come in with the wiring, probably hide that underneath the, uh, the uh, bench here, run that into the bottom cabinet here, which I'll have a fuse panel here, and I will probably put a, GF, a GCFI or GFCI, sorry, uh, here, and then I will run a cord up through here, and under the top, I will probably mount a, uh, a, uh, I don't know what the heck that thing is called, an extension cord, strip, power strip, that's it, power strip, in which I'll plug the uh, refrigerator and the microwave into. And later on, I'll probably put another 12 volt DC plug down here so when I run the solar, uh, I can just unplug the uh, 
refrigerator and plug it into the DC. So that is what we have done and our next step is to run the AC. So let me, uh, let me show you the components that I'm going to use for the AC and uh, we'll see if that works. All right, I'm going to kill the lights off in here and then I will uh, wait till it's dark and then pop the lights on the trailer and we'll take a shot of that. I think that's going to look pretty cool. So these will be some of the items uh, that I'm going to use to hook up my AC, which is just going to be very simple, just kind of a plug-in, fuse, run to a power strip, plug my appliance in, and uh, we'll call that good. I'm not sure if I'll have any uh, lights uh, running off of that. If I do, then I've got the power strip. I can just run a run a cord to uh, the power strip and power a light. But uh, the main the main purpose is if I go somewhere that has short power, then I know that I can have a, a microwave, refrigerator, and uh, and I probably do another setup like this for uh, an air conditioner. But the way the way that I think I'm going to do this is I have a Marine Co. Um, 15 amp inlet, which is just a basic, uh, just like an extension cord end. It's got your three prong, and that'll go on the outside of the trailer, so I can hook an extension cord to it, hook it to my shore power, bang, I got power. That's going to come in, so here, uh, all my wiring is going to plug into the back here like this, which I did buy some uh, 12 2 wiring, but I think I might switch that out and go with a cord uh, instead of the, the flat wire, uh, only because the, uh, the bottom here is round, so it makes sense to go, you know, put a round peg in a round hole instead of a square peg in a round hole. So that goes on the outside of the trailer, run my wire in. The next step, it's going to go into a busman. It's a Cooper Busman. It's a 15 amp fuse block on off power switch. So uh, if, uh, if it's overloaded, it'll pop the breaker, which is the old fashioned one of these uh, little 15 amp doodads. And so uh, from the trailer wire, it's going to go into the Busman with the fuse. That'll also be in a uh, little block like this in here from this block it'll come back out to another block which I will have my uh, GFCI outlet installed here and got my little plate that'll go over it and from there then I can run my uh, uh, power strip just plug it into here plug all my appliances into it which I'll have the microwave would be the most powerful thing I'd have uh, the refrigerator, yeah, I can run that off of DC if uh, if needed, but that'll give me some AC into the uh, trailer. And if I wanted to uh, plug in a television or charge laptops, all that kind of stuff, then then I have the power available. I'm not relying on this uh, by no means. My sole uh, power source uh, eventually will be solar power which I think is going to be enough uh, to store power for running my lights, interior lights, and uh, refrigerator. Not so much worried about a microwave, only if I go to a campground that has shore power would I necessarily use the microwave. And I've got some <coughs> little caps here that'll go into the end of the box on the holes that I'm not using. So. That is the plan for the 110. So that's where we're at today. Uh, all the trailer lights are installed, wired, it's ready to go. Uh, I've got all my components for the AC electrical that uh, is ready to be installed. Uh, and one more step before this thing is towable is I've got to have a set of safety chains. So I have a, uh, an eye hook that I need to attach to the bottom of the frame and connect my chains so I can hook those to my truck and I'm ready to go camping. Um, so that's going to be a cool day pulling it out of the driveway. 
it was fun pulling it out of the garage next step is pulling it out of the driveway so uh, and other than that to keep myself busy since I got the garage all cleared out as I've been going through and clearing up the clutter because uh, once I get this thing all set up and ready to go I'll be starting another project so I want to make sure that I have plenty of room and, and uh, space to be able to uh, start building on the next project and we'll see how far we uh, get on that one before the snow flies it may not happen this year but uh, I'll be working on the plans for it so as always please like subscribe and uh, leave a comment or two if you like and uh, as always thanks for watching so it's uh, dark enough now that uh, I think I can test the lights so what I'll do is I'll turn off this light so it's yeah, fairly dark I'll go around front plug in the trailer light and then we'll do a walk around with the lights and uh, call it quits what do you say got lights. Let me give you a little bit of a walk around because uh, uh, that looks pretty cool. Camera makes it look it's uh, lighter outside than it really is but so we've got uh, our tail lights going, we've got our uh, upper lights going and then uh, we have our amber light, our red lights on the back here, amber lights on the front. Got a couple across the front here. And of course down the side on this side. There it is. Lit up like a Christmas tree. Pretty good. Pretty happy with the way it turned out. little makeshift uh, testing facility here got my ground and my hot wire into my park lights and uh, <laughs> that works yeah, there's some uh, those are some bright lights those are just the park lights that's my garage up pretty well so all right well, all in a day's work. I'm kind of anxious to see what you guys have been doing. Uh, you need to be working on your projects. And uh, once you get an idea, like I've always said, just do it. Because uh, if you wait too long, you're going to talk yourself out of it. And then you won't get anywhere. So I suggest uh, grab your tools, get your ideas going, and uh, just do it. Okay. With that, Oregon Batman is out.